Thanks for joining us on another edition of National Focus. I'm Shakira Peer. Coming up, government makes commitment to the Office of Disaster Management. Close to 200 skilled young people added to local human resource. And rehabilitation works for Pichler and Geneva has begun. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. A picture is worth a thousand words. Got it? Taking care of us can be so easy. Take good care of the children. Thanks for staying with us. The government of Dominica has made a firm commitment to work closely with the Office of Disaster Management to ensure that its daily activities run smoothly. Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt believes that with proper management at the ODM, disaster preparedness will definitely be brought to another level. Rest assured, um, we shall take the executive action to allow you to be treated like the, like, um, the commissions and the because we gave the IP all of this independence of spending money and, and so forth. So why can't we do the same thing to the ODM that is so critical uh, to the well-being of the state? So whatever legislative action we have to take, uh, we, we, I, I'm giving the firm commitment about the government. Um, I'm sure the cabinet will ratify my commitment there. So um, we get a commitment. We, so we need to get the paperwork moving much faster and, and, get, and get things going. The Prime Minister stated that it is very costly for Dominica to get back on its feet after being hit by hurricanes and storms. Amidst all this, Honorable Skerritt says the government will get the work done. The response to disasters, damage by disaster, is too expensive for us. It's too costly for the state. You know, because money is now that we're using to repair roads that we just recently constructed and building homes. You know, this is money we could spend in other areas of the economy, you know. And notwithstanding the challenges faced by central government, people have no mercy in the central government. They're still sending requests to us every single day for all sorts of things. You know, whether you're in the private sector or civil society or, or residents and so forth, people don't say, well, uh, let me give the government some time to, to build homes for political and people and then I'll ask them. People are indifferent to this thing. You, you, you see what I'm saying? And, and all of the burdens are placed at the feet of the, um, of the government. Um, and with a time when resources are not as plentiful as they were before, um, in light of the international global financial crisis, um, it can be a challenge to respond to disasters. Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt was speaking at the National Emergency Planning Meeting last week. Contracts in excess of $4 million for the Petit Savan constituency are already being executed at Pichle and Geneva. On April 27, 17 contracts were signed for work in the south of the island. Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Petit Savan constituency, Dr. Kenneth Daru, says that it is more important now as the country approaches to the hurricane season to complete restoration. No. We're talking, we're talking right now several things, four point something million dollars being spent and I'm sure as we go along you will see the number, the, the little projects that are being done, they're repairing broken pavement under the way, little river defense wall here, there, dredging here, there. So these are, these are total four million dollars. Now, of course, this is a significant sum of money I'm coming from local funds and I'm pretty sure, I'm sure by and large the people, the people are going to, um, the people will appreciate the effort that this government is doing. The Honourable Member of Parliament remarked that since the August 27 storm, the government has been working assiduously to restore normalcy to the Petit Savan constituency. You could see all the broken pavement and after effects of tropical America. In fact, where we stand in, all of this was raging river during, during Erika. And it left the road, um, and unfortunately a road which was just a few years old, built and um, renovated a few years ago. Um, it left the road really in, 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 um, in shutters. So apart from the bus drivers and, 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 and other commuters of the road, we, you can also see some dredging activity going on. And this is very important because so far to date, from what I recall, we've spent several hundred thousand dollars um, doing some dredging on the Pishna River and also more recently in the Bagatelle area. Now, I'm sure you're aware that this is just a point percent of all the of work that needs to be done. The contractor, who is from the Fort saint jean area, Denison Carrette, signed a contract in excess of half a million dollars 
for a two-part road project and a wall. We are undertaking a 300 meter rigid pavement project. It will stretch from the bridge commencement over there, uh, way down behind me, and then it stops at that point and then continues from another point lower down, which is about 180 meters. Uh, there's also a wing wall across the bridge river, so we, which we'll embark on at a later date because we are get a little set, set back from the, the, the river, the tide, the river tide. We have completed so far 286 meters of rigid pavement on one lane and uh, we are looking forward to complete that in a, a few days time. The Honorable MP for Petit Savan was proud that this project has attracted jobs for young men from the area. Caret gave more details. Presently uh, we are 22 men on board and uh, I have separated them into two gangs, 10 and 10. You see, you'll see a few men on this side of the project and then lower down you'll see another set of men getting, uh, preparing for the other phase of the rigid pavement. Uh, we're looking to, to complete that in the next week or two. Repairs to the severely damaged road in the Geneva area has also been started by another contractor, Claude Henderson. Honorable Dr. Daru recounted the devastation caused in that area. And if you look carefully at the beginning of, of, of the renovated road, you will see where the original road is passing. Again, during Erika, all of this area was just one big raging storm, and of course it took everything along with it. Um, also in the background, you would see a couple of the, of, of, of the residential homes in the background. These people also had to be relocated. The house would have been flooded, and luckily they were not swept away. Um, they were rescued before, before any um, lives were lost. And they are also included in the now um, new Dubic and Resettlement Scheme. So again, I really want to say how really I am, um, although the work is really far from... Um, Far from over, we still have to worry. We still have a lot to worry about. As I said, the permanent dredging, and I'm sure you can appreciate massive river walls. I'm not an engineer, okay, but but if we are to allow people to continue to live, for example, in the communities of Pichre and Bagatel Forces area, we do have to offer some sort of um, better protection. Claude Henderson signed two contracts for the Geneva Road project and work at Pichre, adding up to the sum of over three hundred thousand dollars. We have been going well. I have 12 um, workers there with me, and then believing by next two weeks we'll be done with this piece of road there. I have another project that is up in Pishna area above the school. Um, I will be starting just after the other contractor finishes what he's doing. I will be starting there because I don't want to start now to have too much hold over the tra traffic. So I decide after he's done, then I will start here. Uh, by two weeks, after two weeks, I believe I week, by next week I may start there doing something there. The project in Pishna is uh, 100 and I think same thing, 160 something. That is the dredging of the road? No, the road is a road and I have a little wall to build and then the I'm draining. This piece there taking a draining from up there to the culvert where we have the culvert there. Mm -hmm. Close to 200 young men and women graduated from six various training modules on Wednesday, May 25th as part of the 43rd graduation ceremony of the Youth Skills Training Program. The Skills Training Program is facilitated by the Youth Development Division on behalf of the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and Constituency Empowerment. At the ceremony, Youth Skills Training Instructor Cesarina Paul gave a status report on the TRACER study conducted by the division on the growth of the program. This event today represents 34 years of social and economic empowerment of Dominican youth. Through this timely and efficiently managed facility, which has become a household name in Dominica, a glimpse of the Youth Skills Training Program's 2014-2015 TRACER study report indicates that 174 graduates from all the youth development districts have been afforded entry-level skills which have positively impacted their socio-economic circumstances. In the Western District, for example, 16.7%. In the East, we had 15%. In the Northeast, 13.8%. In the Southeast, 1.2%. In the South, 12%. In the North, 8% and in Roseau catchment area, 33.3%. The training modules included computer literacy, electrical wiring, plumbing, auto body repairs, cosmetology, sewing and woodwork. 
Representing the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, was Minister for Information, Telecommunications and Technology, Honorable Kelva Darrow. Over the last several years, the Youth Development Division has displayed a high level of competence as it relates to developing the minds of our young people across the country. The skills training program in any country is of utmost importance. And when people say that the government is not doing anything for young people, this afternoon is an indication of a serious investment that the government of Dominica has made and continues to make in the lives of our young people. Because here this afternoon, we are seeing well over 190 young men and women graduating with various skill sets that you can now go back into your various communities and make a meaningful contribution towards the development of your country. And that is important because once you have achieved the skill, no one can take that skill away from you. The onus and the responsibility is yours to ensure that you utilize that skill, that you maximize that skill to the best of your ability to make the most out of what you have gained and to ensure that you can have some profitable means from the skill that you've acquired. So over the last three, four months that you attended training programs, that you attended sessions, you now have to put these into practical use and to ensure that at the end of the day, you can improve and go from one step from where you left out. Minister for Youth, Honorable Justina Charles had this message to the graduates. I want to encourage you, please, to remain focused. Do not allow the things that are around you to distract you. While it may look lucrative, but there can be consequences that are far-reaching and can be lifelong. So I really want to encourage you to embrace the opportunity. As one of your peers said, tell your friend to tell another friend, let us all come on board. That is the beginning. While you may not get employment now, do not be discouraged. Do not get impatient. Work with the skills that you have received until eventually you can grow. There are opportunities for plumbing, there, is, there are opportunities for electricians and all of the skills. And very often we find you, in the communities you have to be haunting for people to give the very service for which you are trained. The opportunity is for you now to grow. Find every opportunity to use the hands so you remember the skill and you can learn and you can grow. Associate yourself with people that can help you to grow further as much as possible. I want to exhort you to take it seriously. We as government will continue to invest in you. We believe that you have what it takes to continue in the development thrust of this country. And so we will continue to invest, but it is incumbent on you to make the best of it. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. I had a bleeding disorder that I did not know about, and they had to be transfusing me continuously. I got 56 units. Being there at the blood bank, I was like, yo, I'm actually saving someone's life. You never know when you can go. Give blood. I have done it, and believe it or not, don't hurt. I won't be scared. I'll give. <laughs> you know you're going to give blood. I'll make sure she does. Sit down at the blood bank in a comfortable environment for 45 minutes. Helping people. You are stimulating your body to make brand new cells. You get free cookies, you get juice. Glad to know your blood group feels good. I felt as a better person. It's a good thing to be alive and I can thank God that I'm there and I'm enjoying life. Things are looking up for the pineapple and coconut subsector according to reports from the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Harold Geist. He stated that the agriculture sector in Dominica is undergoing a transition from a monocrop economy to a more diverse approach. 
At a farmers' forum in October 2015, officials from the Ministry of Agriculture revealed that more investments would be made in other crops in addition to bananas. Under the banana accompanying measure BAM, a big investment has been made in pineapples. Due to efforts by the Nature Island Pineapple Association, NEPA, the Ministry of Agriculture purchased over 40,000 tissue culture pineapple plantlets. These are undergoing winning and hardening at the Portsmouth Smart Greenhouse. The first set has been, is, has been planted in the field uh, and then the second set is, will be ready over the next couple of months. For, so, and NEPA distributes these, these plants to, to, to their members. And, um, the first set is going to be coming in very soon in terms of production. So when when we have 20,000, plus another 20,000, we are going to have a lot of pineapples. The Permanent Secretary revealed that NEPA is already exploring marketing options for pineapples. He presented several production ideas for the crop. We are also talking with um, a French company who wants to do um, pineapple juice and also sparkling pineapple wine, which is again very promising. So there's a lot happening in the agricultural sector that, you know, um, so the pineapple has received a lot of support from um, pineapples from, from government. Geese admitted that coconut is not yet at the level they would like it to be, but the ministry is optimistic. With the closure of the Dominica Colgate Palmolive, Farmers are having difficulty selling copra. However, the coconut water business is growing. The coconut trees for oil that we have at the moment, they are very tall, they are old, they have been there for several years. And then there's a, a program on the way to rehabilitate this. So there is, there is, a, there is a, a program with Cardi as we speak. And um, Mr. Adrian Banis is the chairman of, 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 uh, of the uh, organization, uh, a committee for spearheading uh, expansion or rehabilitation of the coconut industry and there's a Caribbean program that is designed also funded under, under the EU for expansion of coconut industry in the Caribbean region because we all seem to have the same problem. Currently the coconut industry in the region is at a low stage. This requires urgent attention. We are uh, embarking on paying attention to coconut in a bigger way this time and then the approach is to you to use the whole the whole tree the whole not everything because um it, it, this is it is sometimes called the tree of life it is it is it is coconut is something that everything can be used so with this new energy with this new thrust for coconuts we are looking at coconut oil virgin coconut oil traditional coconut oil we are looking at um, animal feed we are looking at doing making charcoal we're looking at doing um mats and we're looking at doing the, the, like use the wood for 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 for, for lumber and, and and other things and that's the english segment of the news mark first in st louis is up next with creole highlights hello tout moon bienvenue à ce nouvel en creole no more say mark first in st louis Premier ministre de l'Agriculture a fait parole que le secteur local vivait de bout. Parole celle-là sortit de permanent secrétaire Harold Gist. Gist mentionné le programme Patate que le ministre a tapé ses propos. Eh bien, nous avons fait un peu de secteur de l'Agriculture. Nous avons fait un programme pour planter Patate à l'anglais. Avec euh, nous avons avec Propel, avec Propel, euh, un des nous pour gagner en qualité green patate qui a produit en l'eau patate. Avec ça, ça un des nous très bien que ça nous doublé, ça euh, nous ça nous a fait euh, en roulant l'année l'année passée. Que ça, ça ça travaille bien pour nous. Industry Fig aussi qu'à vivre de bout. Comme ça, Fig c'était plus plus gros euh, dans où nous tenions un homme qui a mené l'argent par les habitants et le monde qui a ouvert sa habitation avec euh, Fig d'ailleurs avait pour problème avec l'accès à tout cas et nous perdons marché en Europe. 
comme ça, à présent, ça a viré. Le euh, gouvernement a acheté euh, un ça, tissue culture plants avec euh, nous avons 40 000 plants en France. Avec si les habitants qui ont planté, on um, fixe ça là. Avec euh, fixe ça là, il m'a tué à présent. Avec euh, il qui a produit en l'eau fixe, euh, nous avons nous, nous essayé d'appeler un marché pour, pour vendre en région. Euh, pendant ce que ça a fait, nous avons travaillé pour, pour faire tout ce qu'il faut pour nous vivre dans le marché de l'United Kingdom. Une nouvelle travail qui a pris place bien formidable à Simon Chimé Pichelin, Kalisan Gouambé. Le gouvernement Dominique a ordonné le contracteur Dennis Carret pour bâtir le projet Salam. Mon parlement honorable Dr. Kenneth Daru visite le projet Jodian. Ça nous a fait là, c'est nous qui ah, moi je suis mais nous avons essayé de faire un petit bon et plus meilleur pour voir si ça ou les pour monter ça ou quand plus qu'on tape parce que vous savez depuis là il a passé là même là nous avons là c'était la vie la vie était pour en place là pour pour pourquoi so, après ça nous avons essayé de manger pour faire mon navigation là plus confortable aller et ouais tout aux aller tout avec vie ils ont fait l'école aussi nous on y vend des monde là mais nous on est en deux segments deux groupes nous avons un groupe ici, ils ont l'autre set à préparer. Quand on a aujourd'hui, à 100 jours, la pluie, et avec Mathieu, même pas qu'à rouler en genre de quelle est là. Mais nous n'avons pas qu'à voir pièces blâmes à la pièce compagnie, personne, puisque c'est Caribe San Antonio qui a nous été riche, et c'est là que nous avons plus besoin de Mathieu, mais nous avons pour qu'à part mon dot, mon contrat, différents contracteurs, différents pays, on a parti pour qu'à rouler actuellement là. Nous même pas s'expliquer que nous avons fait tout Mathieu, mais nous avons fait ça et au pays pour faire nous taper, puisque... Il y a eu des cas coupés, et nous avons eu des bons matins, nous avons eu des petits bêtes à recherche, nous avons eu des bêtes à recherche. Carrot, bien satisfait, manié, toi, va y aller. Allez Oui, oui, mon frère, je vous ai dit, moi-même, je vais le faire, je vais encore finir de faire tout le bagage. Mais quand on a eu des bêtes à recherche, c'est un peu comme ça, un peu comme ça, un peu comme ça. Mais nous avons gardé pour nous faire un petit peu de la semaine de la semaine. L'autre semaine pour nous, ça presque fait un monde tout le temps, puisque nous avons un autre projet pour faire un bon, pont là, en, en, en haut. C'est comme ça, nous avons gardé pour nous, ça avance là, ça vite. Tu veux dire, nous avons une saison cyclone là, à présent, nous partons les cyclones là pour nous, ça avant de finir. Et puis finalement, les musiciens Dominique qui participent à l'entraînement qui est associé à ce musicien Dominique Condoué, qui est à le certificat Hall State College Dominique. Parole ça là, sur le président de l'association là, M. Mark Murray. Nous avons troisième, ben quatrième, toutes euh, les activités nous avons fait et puis collège là et puis nous collège là sur institution de d'instruction. Nous décider que tout ben nous avons fait, nous avons fait et puis à coopération et puis collège là. Quand ça, les nous besoin, nous avons fait des 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 stages là, nous besoin en, en salle de classe, en classroom. Nous nous avons servi collège là et puis collège là tient une section pour éducation d'adultes pour le monde qui, qui est plus grand quoi, qui, qui, qui a travaillé tout ça. Donc nous avons travaillé ça et puis section collège là ça, et puis collège là qui a basé mon monde qui est au certificat. Ce so, certificat de compétence, ça veut dire qu'il y a certaines compétences à bailler là, mais pour, pour, pour nous ni ça, il faut qu'on là, ni une évaluation, il faut faire un examen quelconque pour, pour dire, bon voilà, pour la connaître c'est un bail et puis l'autre um, certificat um, collège la cabaye c'est un certificat de participation c'est là de que ou ça veut dire que ou tu es là pour les trois quatre jours ou faire combien de combien l'heure de temps à classe là et puis il y a un certificat de participation mais c'est madame ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en quoi pour à présent non moi c'est ma fausse c'est l'os au revoir. Before we leave, here is one announcement. Applications are invited from a suitably qualified persons for the position of web developer at the ICT unit. The web developer shall design and develop the websites of various ministries, departments and units. Coordinates the implementation of website development for e-government, facilitates the compilation of data following web development standards of the government of Dominica, a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, information management systems or related field. 
two years experience in data administration, website design and administration, web applications, web publishing and content management systems are required. The successful applicants will be employed on a short-term contractual basis. Applications including certified copies of professional certificates only, detailed curriculum vitae and three letters of reference confirming the applicant's required experience and skills should be submitted to the Chief Personnel Officer, Establishment, Personnel and Training Department, Government Headquarters. In sealed envelopes, marked confidential. Application for the position of Web Developer, Information and Communication Technology Unit, Establishment, Personnel and Training Department and should reach no later than 4 p.m. on June 10, 2016. Further details relevant to the position can be obtained from the Information and Communication Technology Unit, email ictunit at dominica.gov.dm and telephone number 448-0005. Read the full announcement on news.gov.dm. If you have asthma, diabetes, a heart condition, knee or back problems, or any other health or medical issue, limit your exertion if you decide to go hiking. The altitude, strenuous climbing, dehydration, and intense inner heat will combine to make medical problems worse. Stay within your training, physical limitations, and abilities. That's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also now available on our GIS YouTube channel 24 hours a day. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I'm Shakira Peer. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.